What's up? I am Pete Last Guy, and this is not raw emotion. We're not doing that this week because uh, I have a job, man, and it's not this. But in lieu of that, I do want to talk about Roman Reigns' suspension. You've heard about it, obviously, by now. Reigns was suspended for violating the WWE's wellness policy. Now, we're not sure if it was Roy's, if it was weed, or if it was something stronger, but what we do know is that he was using something. We also know that from a tweet he sent out earlier that he's pretty much just going to own up to it and be pretty straightforward about it, which is cool considering the circumstances. But I want to talk about one particular aspect aspect of this whole thing that really uh, is especially shady. Now being the jaded, cynical, smarky millennial that I am, uh, this was actually my first thought when I heard about this. The WWE actually knew about this in advance of Money in the Bank. There have already been reports alluding to as much. I'm pretty sure the WWE hasn't owned up to it at this point, but ooh, man. Ooh, man. You can pretty much envision that creative meeting where Vince or whoever essentially says, look, we know he needs to be suspended for this. But this whole, all three members of S.H.I.E.L.D. as champion on the same night angle is just, it's too good. We can't, we can't, we can't, we have to wait. Now this doesn't explain uh, his booking in, in the triple threat match at Battleground, which I, he's still going to be in because Battleground is 33 days away, I want to say, and the suspension is only for 30 days. But, ugh, guys, this does not make WWE look good at all. All. Not only is their, their big dog, their face of the company, going down for something like this, but it looks like they were trying to cover it up for the sake of storyline, for the sake of money. Anyway, that's all my thoughts on this right now. Just a quick hot takes thing. I'm sure we're going to get more developments as uh, time rolls along. But uh, tell me what you think about this in the comments. And you know, while you're at it, be sure to like this video, uh, share it with your friends if you want to, and uh, subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with all the other stuff all the other wrestling content that we come out with here on Brother Mania Brother uh, just about every week with a fair amount of regularity. Uh, a fair amount is generous. I guess if you want to know how frequently we come out with videos, the only way to do that is to subscribe. So click that button. Hey. Anyway, I've been Pete Last Guy, and uh, I think that's the bell. Let's see where this goes.